looking back at the story with Elijah in verse 30, the second part of that verse in 1 Kings, it says this, they all crowded around him as he what? Say it with me. He repaired the altar of the Lord that had been torn down. Think about that for just a moment. Not only were they worshiping other gods, not only had they built shrines and built uh, temples and built idols to other gods, but they actually tore down the altars of God. Tore them down. They're, they're not even worshiping. And people are, are walking by. Nobody's really noticing that the worship of God has been neglected and it's no longer happening. Like, what's going on here? They, they don't even see it anymore. It's like a couple weeks ago, I was at the doctor's office and the nurse took me into one of the exam rooms. And when she opened up the door, the light was just flickering like this, just on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And I was like, whoa. And she, and she actually said, well, I apologize. This is the only room we have open. And it's kind of been like this for a week now. And we just haven't gotten it fixed. I mean, a week? A week? And I go into this room. They shut the door. I'm sitting at the exam room. It's just doing this. It's like a 90s nightclub, okay? Just blinking on a baby, hit me one more time. I mean, it's just on and on and on and on. And you know what's crazy? After about 15 minutes, I didn't even really notice it anymore. That was so strange. This is what's happened to the Israelites. They've just gotten used to it. Seven generations of doing evil in the sight of the Lord, and God slowly got pushed to the margins and nobody noticed and nobody paid attention anymore. I, I just would say, I, I fear that God has been pushed to the margins, not in our culture and not in our world, but in his church. Like we are like Israel. It's not the world that's the problem. It's our hearts and our souls the problem. He is no longer the object of our worship. And I think God is looking for Elijah's. I think God is asking you today, if you'll be an Elijah who will stand up, who will repair the altar of the Lord. I think God is saying to you and he's saying to me, will you return to me? Will you make me the object and the affection and the passion of your worship? Will you make me the center of your life? In other words, again, the answer is not in the White House. The answer is in my house. 